Welcome Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today I will be doing your love reading for the remaining days of October 2021. I'll be taking a look at your person's energies. This can be anyone that you're thinking about dealing with or connecting with. And then towards the end, I'll be taking a look at singles looking for new love. All right, Aries. Please keep in mind this will not resonate with all of you. Feel free to check your other placements. Let's see. What does this person on your mind wish they can tell you? What are their current feelings or energy surrounding you at this time? Two more. Ooh, all these cards want to come out here. One more, please. What is this person's current feelings for Aries? What do they want to tell Aries? Under the deck, the dark night of the soul. So the person that you're thinking about may be going through some things here, Aries. Maybe when it comes to you or overall in their life, they're feeling really... Um, yeah, this person's going through the dark night of the soul, okay? I'm hearing that they're going through some type of karma or some karmic partner issues. But overall, this person's energies. Also, as I was shuffling, I do want to mention that I did sense, like, I did see a card where it was saying that this person's scared of contacting you. So if you have not been talking to this person, it's because they're really, like, they're fearing or they're scared to talk to you for whatever reason. But this person's energy surrounding you, Aries, I don't know why I can't stay away from you. I don't want to lose you again, and you are very attractive. So this person finds you very attractive, Aries, and if this is someone from your past, trust me, they still do, okay? This person does not want to lose you again. Um, if it's someone from the past here, and they don't know how they can, you know, they can't stay away from you. Like, it's like maybe this person has tried moving away from you several times or breaking things off with you several times or trying to maybe a little bit of self-sabotage as well, I'm hearing. But it's like they can't. It's like they always, like, they always go back to you or they always, like, you always come to their mind again or they always see things that remind this person of you. So just keep that in mind here. Well, let's go ahead and move on and see how this person is viewing you. How is this person currently viewing Aries, please? What are their current feelings? Current feelings for Aries? What is this person's current feelings? And what action does this person plan on taking towards Aries? What action does this person plan on taking towards Aries? were in a relationship with this person i do have to say that or you guys had a thing okay i don't know why i needed to say a thing but yeah but anyways this person is viewing you like the seven of pentacles this is capricorn virgo taurus energy they may be either one seeing you or viewing you as very focused in your career your business your finances um maybe how to uh they might be feeling like you're you're trying to get your life back together you're trying to do something here some type of plan They are viewing you like there needs to be a decision that needs to be made, okay? Like a decision needs to be made. Maybe you've been investing yourself in this connection for maybe seven weeks, seven months, seven years. Or maybe this has been going on for something about seven, okay? Or you've been putting work into something, something made for seven weeks, seven months, seven years. But let me go ahead and clarify. But I feel like this person is viewing you as not really kind of think, thinking things through, uh, working on yourself, working on your finances, trying to get, trying to make some type of decision, okay? Is this person viewing Aries, please? How is this person viewing Aries at this time? Thinking things through, I'm hearing as well. Yeah, see, it has to do about a de decision, a release, releases here. So maybe they're viewing you as wanting to release them, okay? Wanting to release maybe the past or something that has to do with them. Give me one more. How is this person viewing Aries? And I really strongly feel like they are seeing you like wanting to release them. 
um, because you have gone through some type of transformation here. They, they see that you've changed, okay, Aries? They see that you're no, no longer the person that you used to be. You've grown a lot. You've gone through some major transformation, metamorphosis, you know. It's like they know that you are not the same person as before. So I feel like you're, they feel like you're releasing them or leaving them behind or something like that. It could be a child involved or family involved. They may also just be viewing you as like you're part of their tribe or you're part of their family. Maybe this is why this person can't let you go because you guys share memories together. Yeah, material world. See, they may be viewing you as working on your material world as well here, focusing your energy in that. This person's current feelings for you, Aries, the Six of Cups. Yeah, see, what did I say? This person is thinking about a time you guys shared together, memories, feeling very nostalgic. Could also, you could be dealing with a soulmate here. This is someone who's missing you a lot, a lot. And they keep replaying memories over and over and over again in their head. For others of you, this could be someone that maybe you've connected on a very deep level. If this is somebody new, um, this could be someone that you feel like you've known for such a long time or you guys instantly connected, soulmate energy, or you could have known this person from childhood, six weeks, six months, six years for some of you may have known this person as well. But I will say this person is missing you very much. They're feeling, feeling very nostalgic. Thinking about past memories. Something about 11 as well. Okay, 11, 11 days, 11 weeks, 11 months, 11 years. November, June, July. Um... 76, 67. All right, what is this person's current feelings for Aries? What is this person's current feelings for Aries? They feel like things are out of control at this time. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, give me one more. Yeah, this person's stuck. And see what I say, they've been getting a lot of signs about you. I feel like this is why they can't um, completely disconnect or let you go because like everything reminds this person of you, Aries. They want to offer you something, but I feel like either one, there's some karmic partner or karmic issues that they're, they have to deal with here. Uh, but overall, this person feels like things are not balanced. I usually don't take these in reverse, but when it comes out like this, I do. Balancing in the scales is in reverse, mirroring and stuck. So this person feels like things are out of control. Things are not balanced or not fair uh, in this situation. They're mirroring you at this time. They're very stuck. They're feeling like... You know, don't let this person fool you, Aries, if they're not communicating or if they're not telling you, if they're not being very loving, it's because they're holding back. They're acting like a child, to be quite honest, because, you know, either because they um, are dealing with a lot, they're feeling very stuck, they're stressed out in their life, or because they feel like you don't care, you want to release them, or maybe you're anxious to release them, so this is why they're mirroring you. A little bit of game playing, but this person is feeling very stuck when it comes to you. And again, this person's having a lot of memory, like nostalgia over like past memories, times you guys spent together, things like that. The action this person plans on taking towards you is a strength card here with Leo energy. Let's clarify. Why is the strength card here for the action this person plans on taking towards Leo? Five of Wands. Okay, this person... I feel like this person may come forward and, yeah, they're going to communicate. My advice to you, though, if this person tries to argue with you about an ending with the death card Scorpio, just don't even entertain this person, okay? If they're either one, they're going to, you know, there might be an argument in the near future, a disagreement, or people may try to get involved in the situation, so just be careful with that. But for others of you, um... Yeah, I feel like this person is going to communicate. Okay, with the Eight of Wands, it's pretty clear here. They Maybe they communicated sometime in, um, what do I say? August? Yeah, August. Okay. So, or maybe something important, some news came in in August. But overall, I do see this person communicating here. 
uh, they do want to heal things with you. But again, I feel like there may be an argument here in the near future with the Five of Wands or some type of battle or people getting involved or people starting drama or just be careful with that, okay? Especially if maybe people have been involved in your connection or your relationship in the past. Just know that they may try again. So I would say just avoid that, avoid that. But I feel like this person is going to have the strength to finally reach out and balance things out with you and heal things. Let me go ahead and clarify here the Five of Wands for the action this person plans on taking towards you. Okay, the argument might be about a third party or something that happened in the past. Maybe some cheating or lying or whatever. What action does this person plan on taking towards Aries, October 2021? Yeah, see, a conversation. A conversation is going to take place about some ending an ending that happened but again i feel like this person is going to want to either fix things or heal things with you or make things fair and balanced so be prepared for that well the my only warning would be just that arguments or someone trying to start arguments or trying to start conflict uh drama stuff like that what action does this person plan on taking towards aries october 2021 what action does this person plan on taking towards Aries October 2021 in love? Oh. Okay. This karmic partner keeps wanting to come out. I don't know if the person you're connecting to is dealing with a karmic partner. See? Healing. Healing here. Yeah. They could have been deceptive before, and now it's like, yeah, see? The cards don't lie, guys. Look at this. And there's going to be a conversation about an ending here. I feel like there's going to be something to, uh, brought up here in the near future about some type of ending that occurred. But overall, I feel like this person's going to take action, wanting to possibly go move into a new direction with you and heal the situation. Or this conversation may be about, okay, are we going to go into this new direction or not? Okay, should I go into a new direction or not? Like, do I need to go solo or not? Like that type of energy. Or this could also be like um, going into a new direction like both of you. Okay after this healing is done but this person is going to take action towards you so just be on the lookout for that okay maybe this person is dealing with a karmic partner and until they don't release that they can't really come forward but i feel like your person is feeling really drained at this time and stuck I'm curious, who is this karmic partner that keeps wanting to come out for this person? The Five of Cups. Yeah, things didn't work out with this karmic partner. That's what I'm seeing. I feel like things didn't work out with them, and because they didn't work out with them, they may come towards you. Again, Aries, the choice is yours. But if this is not the situation, again, maybe this person came to the realization that this was not really what they wanted, and now they want to come. And yeah, You know what I mean? Like, this person may have thought the grass was greener put it that way and then now they're like feeling stupid about it and shitty about it and they want to come forward and take action towards you yep see yeah i'm convinced maybe the person was had a third party and again maybe if this person didn't cheat or anything like that maybe there was just someone who wouldn't leave them alone like a crazy ex or a crazy person or someone that just did refuse to like completely let them go if that makes any sense causing conflict in the connection all right, let's see. What's your advice, Aries, when it comes to this person here? What's your advice? Ooh, ten of cups here. Ten of cups. You have to make a decision here about an ending. Uh -huh. All right, listen, Aries, my loves. You have the ten of cups, the six, two of, six of two of swords, and ten of swords. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Your advice is you have to make a, de a decision, okay? See things for what they really are. Do you want to have this reconciliation and make up or do you want to completely close this cycle? Okay, it's pretty clear. You got the 10 to 10, okay? So, yeah, your advice is to really, you have to make a decision, you know? Some of you need to see things for what they really are, okay? Get yourself out of that stuck energy. Take the blindfold off, you know? Pull out a sheet of paper and write, write and write and write until you get that clarity if you need to. All right, listen to your intuition this month because I feel like you have to make a decision of whether do I completely end this or do I 
completely reconcile okay it's either it's either 100 and and starting over and 100 and ending it put it that way okay so this is your advice you're gonna have to make this decision okay because i do see this person coming forward taking action towards you i've never seen this combination before ten of cups two of swords and ten of swords and, and ten of swords decision has to be made it's like you're, you're stuck in between the middle here do I completely end this or do I completely start my happiness here with this person? Okay, some of you may have two children with this person or again, maybe one of you, each of you have one child and so together it's two. Maybe you talked about having two children. So, but again, three of swords and the justice card. Maybe there was some heartbreak, heartbreak in the past. Maybe there was a third party or maybe there was some deceit and lies and maybe there's things were not fair or there was maybe a divorce here or a legal situation that has been pending and... This is you needing to make the decision, Aries, okay? And I think that you're going to have to make this decision this month, okay, with the 10-10 here. That's October, all right? Maybe even November here with the Justice card, with 11. All right, let's go ahead and move on to single. Single Aries, looking for new love. Let's go ahead and see what's coming for you. Who is coming towards Aries and love? Singles looking for new love here. October 2021 was coming towards Aries. Aries. Aries and love. Oh, you're going to get everything you've ever wished for here in a person. Okay, this person is going to... I see you either one having options here with the Nine of Cups. Or this is you dating. Uh, maybe you're going on dating apps, dating online. Or this is just you feeling really... A lot of self-love here, feeling really good about yourself, looking very, very attractive, okay? Ooh, yeah, you might be meeting a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Taurus. Give me one more. Who's coming? Okay, listen up. You're going to have an option between two people. Aries, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This requires marriage. Some of you, uh, you may meet this person... You know, through some type of spiritual, like somewhere spiritual, either a church or maybe uh, something that I'm hearing yoga. I'm hearing um, something through maybe from someone from like like an old man or someone who's older. I don't know why I said old man. Like an older person, guys. You might meet this person through an older person, through a friend, I'm hearing. But yeah, I see you feeling really good about yourself here. In the near future, feeling really like you're going to be receiving a lot of attention. There's a fly here, and I swear, get out. Um, so, but I, yeah, I feel like you're going to have to weigh the pros and cons, either about a specific person here in the near future, about do I want to commit or not to this new person, or who am I going to pick here. So, you'll know, you'll know, especially right now, if you, maybe you already met two people that you're interested in, you, you're trying to see which one is better for you here. Some of you may meet this person at a distance as well, okay? Or like I said, through an older person or some type of church or um, corporate company, some type of company, or through a friend. But overall, you're going to feel good here. So singles, if you don't have anyone right now, I do see you meeting someone, okay? This is someone going to be giving you a lot of attention, a lot of attention, And for very few of you, you may be meeting someone who's recently has uh, gotten out of a marriage or, you know, like a divorce. So just be on the lookout for that. Or a lawyer. Some of you may be meeting a lawyer as well. I'm hearing a lawyer. Somebody who works for the government. Okay. All right, Aries. Well, this was your love reading for the remaining days of October 2021. Thank you to all my subscribers who continue to support me. If you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Love you.